Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here and welcome to today's two minute message. So Lori asked, what should we do about hurtful or, and or destructive friendships? And I think it's a great question. Now here's the thing, God calls all of us to love and to even love our enemies. So we place that there first, but you gotta realize that true love has boundaries. See, it does not honor God in the name of love for us to allow someone to hurt us or to be destructive for us. To, in the name of love, to have somebody sin against God, sin against you, sin against themselves, that's not love at all. That's the antithesis of love. So real love has strong boundaries. This is what I would say. We should seek to love people and forgive them, but we should also seek to limit the access and the availability of someone to hurt us or be destructive in our place. I know that's a hard thing. Some people call that tough love. But the thing is, is Jesus practiced that. He saw the Pharisees as very destructive and Jesus didn't answer their questions. He didn't give them the things that they wanted. So we have to know, do our best to forgive. We don't wanna punish people. We don't wanna act vengeful towards people, but we also wanna limit their ability to destroy or hurt people. And I think that that, God, that gives God a ton of honor. Jesus reminds us that we should be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. So we wanna make sure that we're gentle, we'll make sure that we're kind, make sure that we're forgiving and not vindictive, because that's equally a sin. But we also, we place those strong boundaries in place. And I think that's the best way to deal with people who are hurtful, people who are uh, destructive, all those things, because you don't want someone else else's destruction to become your destruction because we end up sharing those things with people if we allow them to do that in our lives. So the first thing I want you to do, I want you to share this video. Unfortunately, too many of us are dealing with situations like that. And in the comment section, I want you to tag amazing friends, friends who build you up, those people in your life who are mentors, people who you, you look to and you're like, I'm so grateful, the antithesis of hurtful or destructive, but people who are amazing people in our lives so we can praise them and thank them for being who they are in our worlds. God bless you today.